The high-pitched melody of the Bee Java has been a mainstay in Muay Thai stadiums for centuries. Traditionally, each match in Thailand's national sport of kickboxing begins with a dance of respect, accompanied by music from this clarinet variation originally from Java. Sompong Pusan has been playing the Bee Java for over 50 years, 20 of them at Muay Thai matches. This is a Thai tradition that should be maintained and passed on. Muay Thai music has changed drastically, but there are few stadiums that maintain this tradition. The music serves as more than just a musical backdrop for the opening ceremony. So during the fight, the music led by the Pete Java changes tempo based on what's going on in the ring, kind of like a soundtrack for the action. But it's not just to entertain the audience, it's also to motivate the boxers. A technique originally used by Javanese warriors. The Javanese army used the Pijava during wartime to motivate soldiers before and during battle. It can play low octave notes to convey a mood of determination and then higher octave notes to build excitement. Suwan Ard Sa Nanan is known as the king of the Pijava. It takes him about four hours to make a basic version. He's a self-taught craftsman, but says being a musician makes all the difference. I'm carving it into a cylindrical shape. This part is the bell of P. Java. They range from $60 to $3,000, all made in his small workshop on the edge of Bangkok. Back at the Muay Thai match, most are focused on the fight. Yet some hope the P. Java music remains part of the sport. This is a tradition that needs to be maintained and passed on. A fight is incomplete without its music. A sentiment Sompong Pusan hopes the fans agree with, so that he can keep earning a living in Muay Thai stadiums for another 20 years. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.